predicting the normal get up and going for that up smash. Yeah. All right. So and to be honest, that was good conditioning because Ice Ninja usually just waited for poke, and he went first this time. Right now, we are going to have losers finals between Leo on Five and Ice Ninja. Yes, sir. Ice Ninja has yet to take a legitimate set off of him. Has Actually? Yeah. Uh, he's taking sets off the Yoshi when Leon 5 had tried to main him when he was getting bored of Zero Suit. Yeah. Nice down smash, but in a legitimate set, hasn't really taken one off. I don't know. That's definitely a storyline you want to keep an eye on. Ice Ninja's going to have to take three to, to, to get that today, right? Yeah. So. And that's the thing. It's going to be three long sets, and he just had a close one versus... I'm surprised oh. he didn't punish him there yeah, on the landing. Yeah, he could have went for an air, actually, to be honest. Sure. Okay, good job predicting up uh, down B. Unfortunately, a little bit above the on five, so I wasn't able to get it. Yeah, they were literally sharing the same breathing space right there, and I was surprised that Ice Ninja didn't punish, but he's turning it around right here, which is good to see. Triple jab. Oh, and that boost kick. Leon Five has been opting for that quite a Anything that he could potentially break out of, he's going to try to boost kick. Yeah. Okay, let's see how he ends this right here. B, obviously looking for that back air. Ice Ninja expecting it, but runs right into that one. And V on five, uh, probably like the fifth, fourth or fifth time, he went for a landing back there this time. But he, the previous sponge, uh, he's been actually trying to predict Ice Ninja jumping, because that's one of his, I'd probably say, main habits. Yeah. Even though it's like Ice Ninja, or Palutena, does have to space with her aerials. Uh, if you do it too much, then you can't get red and potentially lose stage control because of it. Here we go. Ice Ninja gonna have to figure out a way how to just effectively close the stock out right here. V is gonna be perfectly content to use his movement options and really, oh, nice. Well, just goes for it. I feel like uh, VLN5 was anticipating Ice Ninja to wait yeah. and try to like bait him into uh, going for a down B, but Ice Ninja just blew me wrong. Straight up going for it. Oh my god. Be careful. That would have been over. Uh, v really. Predatory right here on the second stalker here, just not affording Ice Ninja a second. Following him off stage, but let's see, V really looking to press this advantage right here, and Ice Ninja under an assault. This is something. Okay, tries to go for the two frame on the reappearance. Uh, yeah, using that Zeron shield right there, catches him with that up tilt. Nice read on the landing with the grab. Oh, try to predict an air dodge, and we got the custom combo. There you go. Oh, down air. Oh, oh. he's got to be careful. Forward throw on the Smashville platform as it was facing. Okay, yeah, very nice. I was going to say, if you ran into that, that would have been over for you. <laughs> oh, my smash. God. Almost catches him at the East DI. Yeah, yeah that's a 3 o'clock DI right there. No bueno, but he's still going to uh -oh. live. Uh-oh. Eventually, forward air will kill if you try to DI away from yeah. Palutena. Back air to interrupt. Zero suit's back here. Oh, just misses. Had that connected, that would have been it. But I said you're going to have to find another way. You know, I'm seeking that back air. Oh, that's don't it. That's it. Yeah. Ooh. All right, really good stuff to Ice Ninja. He's going to take the counter pick and game, or uh, not game point, but point of damage as well. Yeah, v, v folded a little bit too early right there, and uh, that's going to be costly, giving up game one. Yeah, I believe uh, who's kicking a back there, if I remember correctly? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, if it's space, it's really difficult to try and punish, so... Yeah, he went for the boost kick right there, but just wasn't able to uh, get anything off of that. Gonna opt for FD. Now, this is um, interesting. I... I feel like he opted for the stage so Ice Ninja wouldn't have as free of a time warp canceling, but at the same time, Battlefield benefits ZSS much more, I feel. That's the thing. I feel like Ice Ninja wasn't really going for the warp cancels, which was the problem. So yeah. I feel like he's probably just trying to find limited options for Ice Ninja, so that way he can get much more punishes off of it. Wow. Clean wave bounce, unfortunately, to no prevail. Oh, <laughs> the footstool off of his shield. <laughs> I'm actually, at this point, I'm really interested to see if Ice Ninja is able to pull this off. And I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a very talented player, but when you have a hoodoo against a kind of player like V15 for a long time, you really got to earn your wins. Yeah. And so far, he's doing a pretty good job playing his game plan, not getting too, too flustered. and uh, Unfortunately, very, very unnecessary dash tag. Yeah. Wow. That was a very nice empty hop. 
Vian Vaughn not expecting that. Getting thrown way off guard. Nice Ninja snatching that momentum right there and uh, looking to capitalize further off of it. Oof. Ooh. Close. Man, still taking stage control. Back air. Wow. wow. Falling up air is going to yeah. nail it. Catches him as v 5 extending his hurt pots with that back air. He's saying, listen, I need. I see those uh, high tech boots. Yeah. Unfortunately. You ain't a goddess. Yep. Yeah. So. I got you there. Either way, like, Ice Ninja is really playing these stocks on point right here. Even then, he can't be too composed because v 5 is known for those clutch comebacks as he gets that boost kick. No. Not from cross stage at that percent. He's going to need a little bit more juice. All right, Vion 5 trying to predict the jump. Going pivot grab. And that's the thing. I feel like that's the thing. Vion 5 is very weak based. So I feel like if you don't give him what he wants, then he has such a hard problem uh, dealing with you. Yeah, it can definitely work against you because if you're not doing what he's expecting, another falling up air almost giving us into that 2-0 lead, but V going to respond back air. Nicely done. Yeah. Very last moment, as he's landing, Ice Ninja gonna drop the shield, eat that boot to the face. That's all it takes right there. V can still bring this back. Last stock, anything can happen. Oh, oh. he's not gonna follow up. I think Ice Ninja's trying to go for that up there a little bit too hard there. Yeah. That's the thing, he needs to stay composed and try to not give V15 what he wants. Yeah. Especially at the beginning, he was doing so well just negating V15's options. We're seeing a lot of just movement cross-ups right here by both players. Really, I think uh, being pinned to the corner, but V not really taking advantage until there. All right, I like that. DI straight up, so that way up air, up air boost kick would be less optimal for V1. Yeah. But even then, only a 30% difference. You know, I'm slowing this down and shortening the percentage gap. Yeah, he's definitely uh, applied the uh, the pressure right here. Ice Ninja now only holding on to it, nursing a 8% lead at this point. Oh, that could have been an up no air. Jump. Yeah. That really could have been an up air right oh, there. Oh, the wrong way. Oh. Sees the roll, I think he's dead. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And Ice Ninja definitely had his moment right there. He had a lot of moments there. Unfortunately, just... Getting a bit too antsy, gonna cost him. Yeah, VO15, like I said, number two number on our PR. Two versus number eight, I believe. I think so. I'm pretty sure it's number eight, yeah. followed by J Bones and Gaines. Gaines, yes. That Gaines or his fella. But yeah, like I said, this is a, once again, a very competitive set right here between two players who have proven that they can consistently produce in the Ontario scene. Let's see what happens. All right, seeing Dreamland honestly benefits both sides, but I feel like this could benefit V15 a little bit more. I'd only say it would help out Palutena much more. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, never yeah. mind. Nope. Very little. I forget. <laughs> Fortunately, it's not. Flip kick spike's not completely broken. Yeah. He's got to be careful right there with those grabs once again. I mean, it, it, it is a great reward, but also comes with a pretty heavy risk. Oh, why did you do that? Okay, that was a nice uh, laser edge cancel. Nice and just uh, whipping a little bit. Maybe a little bit too uh, too slow to the punch. Oh, oh! And again. That's the thing. I feel like Ice Ninja needs to start waiting for v Five to potentially do something and then act, initiate after. Agreed. Because that's the thing. I feel like it's sort of like where he's usually waiting at the ledge. And instigating first. I feel like he needs to wait and try to get V15 to go for it. Yep. This is a potential. Oh, he had no jump, no flip kick. Could it could have been a potential stock? Oh my gosh! Like you said earlier in the in the in the set, oh, you please said please go down there near him. Oh. You've said earlier in the set that Ice Ninja sometimes is a little bit too composed, a little bit too safe. Yeah. And yeah. this is what we're seeing here. I feel like he's respected V15 now a bit too much after that last game. And that's the thing, like V now, he's the type of player that does not let his Oh, or, okay, that was smart. Interesting, okay. Catches the landing, which is nice. Yeah, like Ice Ninja has to really, his defensive game is great, not taking anything away from him, but sometimes he's got to extend those combos, extend his, uh, 
his offensive repertoire a little bit more. Okay, good punish. Yeah. Because it could really help him in certain situations, right? Oh, that's a punish right, right there. Now VL5 is going to have to start respecting a tiny bit more because, of course. Okay, that was very cute. Nice catch with the backer right there. He's going to send him off stage. Oh, careful. And now VL5 is just going for a disrespect, just giving him the flip kicks. But at this point, wow. Ice is not really chilling about all that much, so you probably he should. He is dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Maybe eat my words right there. <laughs> and uh, now, V15, one game away from getting yet another crack at you. And, uh, well, let's see what happens. Ice Ninja now, after taking game one, now he's down in the point advantage and counter pick advantage. Uh, finding himself a little bit out of crossroads right here. And, uh, I feel like he'd want to try Town City, to be honest. I agree. Although he's got to be extra careful of boost kick at this point, so I guess he's going to opt for Dreamland again. Opt for Dreamland. To be honest, I don't blame him for going back here. That's yeah. the thing, it's like, he hasn't really been getting up here, up here boost kick with the platform assist, so... I feel like his only main problem is that he needs to, like, find ways of just getting back on versus the on guard. Yeah. Good catch with our Ice Ninja. Reading that option with the... The grab just needs to convert a little bit more consistently, but all right, all right. And I feel like this is where Ice Ninja is getting back into it. He's just not giving V15 like the landing option C. But the Nair, yeah, that's that, that's a perfect response right there. You see V15 going for what he wants to go for. You got to meet it with something that hurts him. And he's dead. Yep. Yeah. That was such sweet execution right there. All right, potential last stock for Mr. Ice and Ninja, dude. Yeah. He's really going to have to make this work. And that is unfortunately not helping him too much. Ice Ninja's not really a player that really prides himself on possessing a lot of offensive explosiveness, right? Like, he really... He relies on playing common precise, but now he's in a situation where he's down a game, potentially out of the tournament, on his last stock. All right, clean up smash, multiple hitbox, going to send him upwards. He's got to make something happen here, and it's all about, uh, okay, that backer is looking pretty good, but let's see what he does here. I feel like the one thing he hasn't really been going for, I think he needs to start going for jab dash next. Because so far he's been going for jab. Jab up okay. till works too. That works too. <laughs> Not sure if a uh, new hidden technique or... I think you've been saving that for the past months. Uh, he's been, it's basically like a week-long conditioning uh, exercise right here. A for year Ice and a half long since the release. There you go. Uh-oh. And just like that, I think you're bringing some ground here. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, but he's getting carried off with those fires. <laughs> So risky, and Ice Ninja almost getting scouted out by that. Was oh. not able to punish that grab, and that is going to be pretty bad now. I think the percent he could have got off that. And I feel like a roll is going to cause Ice Ninja somehow. I, yeah. I'm just feeling it. I can see it too. And now he's having trouble landing even right now. And, uh, okay, we'll get back with that. But. Okay. It's his option. Oh, B maybe getting a little unsafe with that dare, but uh, and that's gonna be yeah, it. it. Back air, bada bang, three one. Yeah. All right. What well, looked like a little bit of hope, unfortunately, was just sunsetting away. He's still over against field one five, so definitely gonna have to wait another chance to uh, to grab that. Yeah. W. Anyways, you are up. Yep. Yeah. Either 